right. Okay, so for this evening's practice, I'm bringing in the ideas of two things, svadhyaya, the niyama on self-study. So the getting present to how we're being, who we're being on our mats from moment to moment without judgment. So just like as if you were a fly on the wall, witnessing yourself in the practice, self-study. Then I also want to bring in the throat chakra. So your throat chakra is the throat as well as up into the jaw. It's our center for communication, for um, yeah, expressing ourselves. So two ways that we're gonna play with activating the throat chakra in this practice is um, one, Jalandhara Bandha. So we've got the Mula Bandha, the pelvic floor lock, we've got Pasta Bandha, we got Pada Bandha, the foot lock and the hand locks. Um, we've got Uddiyana Bandha, the pit of the belly. Jalandhara Bandha is the throat lock. So often we spend our life here typing and all, all our communication skills are a little bit out of whack. So the Jalandhara Bandha is pull the jawline straight back and align the head over the shoulders, right? So think, um, it's almost like you're trying to create a double chin. Yeah, so chin slightly down and pulled back, Jalandhara Bandha. So that's one way we're gonna pay attention to where our head is in alignment through the whole practice. And then we're gonna play with the mudra, Vishnu, Vishuddha mudra. So everybody take your hands and clasp them downwards. Yeah, and then pull it together and touch your finger and thumb tips together. Pull them through. So fingers down, clasp. And then as you bring the heels of your hands, just weave your finger, point your finger and thumb through to touch each other. We'll play with this mudra at different points in the practice. So we can play with it here at the throat. Pull the jawline straight back and gently press your chin down into your knuckles. But we'll also play with it while we're in the flow too. So like if you're in warrior one or crescent lunge, take the mudra up, pull the shoulders up towards the ears, press the shoulder blades in towards the spine. Yeah, and we'll experience it there. So this is a mudra to support us having healthy communication in the world and we'll spend the practice being in self-study and self-discovery like a fly on the wall witnessing without judgment how we feel and react to different points in the practice. So do you think you can get there again in the practice? Weave the fingers, close the hands, release the fingers. Cool. All right. We're gonna start in a seated position. If you wanna sit on a block, you're welcome to. You can sit cross-legged or kneeling and create the Vishuddha Mudra. Move the fingers, thread them, and bring your hands to rest actually in your lap. So an interesting thing about the throat chakra is it partners pretty closely with the sacral chakra. So any hip openers we doing, we're doing, right? They say the hips are the storage house of the emotions and the throat chakra is how we can express and verbalize how we're feeling to the world. So have your throat chakra mudra at your hips and get present to the head and neck. Option to let your eyes drift closed and take a deep breath in. Open mouth, foggy breath out. Another tool we use for the throat chakra is ujjayi breath. So to get there, breathe in through the nose. Open mouth, foggy breath out. Seal the lips and create that same noise on your inhale. Keep the lips closed, exhale, foggy ujjayi breath out. Breathe in slowly. Breathe out slowly. You're welcome to keep your eyes closed and keep the ujjayi breath going. On your next exhale, bring chin to chest. 
Roll your right ear over to your right shoulder. Breathe in. Ujjayi breath out. Bring chin to chest. Inhale, left ear to left shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Self-study, inhale, Svadhyaya, right ear to right shoulder. Can you notice without judgment, exhale, chin to chest. One more time, left ear to left shoulder, breathe in. Exhale, chin to chest. Jalandara Banda, bring the head up over the shoulders. Pull the jawline straight back. Often it feels to me a little bit like someone's grabbing on to the back of your ears and tugging upward. So the lift up while you pull the jaw straight back. Release the mudra, bring your hands to your lap. Take a deep breath in. And notice without judgment, breathe out. Slowly make your way onto your hands and knees for tabletop. I'm using my hands on dumbbells just for my wrists being sensitive these days. Move through some cows and cats. And as you take cow pose, pull the jaw back, then look up. Exhale, cat pose, round chin to chest. Really tuck your chin in towards your chest. Do that a few more times on your own timing. Inhale. Cow pose, pull the jaw back, then look up. Exhale, round into cat. Pull your chin towards your collarbone, really. One more breath cycle. Pull the jaw back as you look up. Exhale, tuck your chin towards your collarbone. Downward facing dog. Send the hips up in the air. Any movement your body needs in this first downward dog of the practice. Keep the ujjayi breath going. As medicine for your throat chakra. Check in with the head and neck alignment. If your head's just completely collapsed down, that's totally fine. And you could bring a little Jalandhara Bandha in Pull the jaw straight back as you reach the, imagine the back of the ears reach slightly towards the front of the mat. Not tucking your chin, just a gentle lift and extension. Take another breath in. Exhale, walk your hands back to your feet. Ragdoll at the back of your mat. And grab on the opposite elbows. Let your head hang heavy. Shake your head out pretty vigorously. Let the head go. Notice the impact of that on your throat chakra, your neck and jaw. Set your gaze to one spot. Breathe out. Release your hands. Option to bring your big toes to touch with your sliver of space between the heels. So your heels align behind your second and third toes. Lift and spread the toes. Slight bend in the knees, roll up. Extended mountain pose. Let your head come up last so you feel your throat for a moment. And stretch the arms overhead, breathe in. Bring hands to heart center, breathe out. Let's try on that Vishuddha Mudra again. Clap, turn the palms down, clasp the fingers. Bring the heels of the hands together and thread the pointer finger and thumbs to create the bind. And bring the knuckles just under your chin. Rather than jutting your chin forward to get onto your knuckles, pull the jaw straight back and then press the knuckles gently into the chin. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Three ohms, open your jaw really wide as you ohm, inhale. Ah. 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 
Deep breath in. Self-study right here, exhale. Notice, I noticed I was really cr crunching my fingertips together, my pointer fingers and thumbs. Can I be soft? Can you be soft? Take another breath in here. Ujjayi breath out, release your hands by your side, stand tall. Extended mountain pose, inhale. Practice the arms, stay vertical. Tuck your chin down towards your chest, then pull the jaw straight back to take a gentle back bend to look up. Re-extend the arms, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out, slight bend in the knees. Tuck your chin towards your collarbone. Flat back, breathe in. Pause and check in with the jaw and the neck. As you press the shoulder blades in towards the spine, I notice my, the back of my head juts forward and my chin juts forward. So pull the jawline straight back to create the Jalandhara Bandha Mudra in your neck. Take another breath in. Exhale, walk your hands towards the front of your mat, high plank. Let's pause here for a second. Often in high to low plank, the chin drops forward and the back of the head goes down like an elevator. Shift your weight forward, put in the Jalandhara Bandha, pull the jawline straight back. So it might mean that you look further forward out in front of your mat. Take another breath in. As you go low plank, keep the Jalandhara Bandha. Notice if you lose it in the default Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Pause so that you can check in with the jaw. You might look down, tuck the chin in slightly, then pull the back of the head back. Lift the crown of the head up. Take another breath in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Hopefully you're in a new experience in your body. Self-study without judgment as the poses may feel different as you put your attention on the throat chakra and creating the Jalandhara Bandha. Ujjayi breath, bring it back if you lost it. Look forward to the front of the mat, lift your heels. As you exhale, step or jump to the front. Flat back, pause to create the Jalandhara Bandha. Pull the jaw straight back. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Extended mountain pose, inhale, reach up. Jalandhara Bandha as you cactus your gentle back bend. Notice without judgment, inhale, extended mountain. Forward fold, exhale. Flat back, breathe in, pause, pull the jawline straight back. C, high to low plank, see one spot. As you do the high to low plank, notice if you lose the bandha in the throat lock. Inhale, up dog, pause, so you can experience the pose in relationship to the jaw and neck. Downward facing dog. Ujjayi breath. With the Jalandhara Bandha, that creates a lot of internal focus. So if you need to close your eyes and be internally focused to experience, please do. And if you keep your eyes open, it's a fun challenge to stay present to your own body, your own experience, while also seeing and being in the world out here. One more sun salutation, A. Lift your heels, look forward. Exhale, travel to the front of the mat. Flat back, inhale, pull the jawline straight back. Forward fold, exhale. Extended mountain pose. Roll the chin in, then pull the crown of the head up. Exhale, little back bend with the Jalandhara Bandha. Re-extend, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Flat back, breathe in, put in the jawline. Throat lock, high to low plank, take your time to experience your breath and the alignment. Inhale through the back bend. Exhale, downward dog. See one spot. Shake your head out. It's a lot of neck control and that's not as much awareness as on that part of the body usually in my own practice. So assuming it might feel different in yours as well. Lift your heels, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the front of the mat. 
flat back. Breathe in, pull the jawline straight back. Fold a little deeper, tuck your chin in towards your collarbone. Chair pose, inhale. Bring hands to heart center, exhale. Do the Vishuddha Mudra, downward palms, clasp, heels together. Weave your pointer fingers and thumbs to touch each other. Now that you're here, pull the shoulders up towards the ears, press the shoulder blades in towards the spine and check in with your neck. Pull the jaw straight back. See what you're looking at, breathe in. Sit even lower, breathe out. Self-study, can you notice the experience you're having without stepping into judgment or reaction about it? Deep breath in, deep breath out. Keep the mudra as you extend up, extended mountain. Pull the jawline back and look up. Forward fold, keep the mudra all the way down. Flat back, release the mudra. Jalandhara Bandha, high to low plank. Exhale, experience the ujjayi breath and the throat lock. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right foot forward, warrior one. Ujjayi breath, reach up. Press into the center of the back heel, lunge deep into the front knee. As you lift the front of the pelvis up, also pull the jawline straight back. If you wanna try and create the Vishuddha Mudra above your head without looking, you're welcome to. See one spot out in front, breathe in. Ujjayi breath, lunge deeper, breathe out. Pull the jawline straight back, then look up your mudra high to low plank exhale take the chaturanga slow so you can notice any defaults around the throat lock up dog when you're ready down dog left foot forward warrior one keep the ujjayi breath going as medicine for the throat lock see one spot out in front of you check in with your feet, lift and spread the toes, lunge deep into the front knee. Pull belly button to spine and pull the jawline straight back. Option to create the mudra above your head. Soften your awareness so that you can witness the experience rather than judge the experience. One more breath in. Lunge deeper, breathe out this time. Pull the jaw back and look up at your mudra. Hide a low plank on your exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. I'll flow us through two more sun bees, one breath or one part of a breath per move. And remember, it's your practice. So you adapt as needed and be in the self study observation around the throat lock while you breathe ujjayi breath lift your heels look forward exhale step or jump to the front of the mat flat back step out of default experience the throat lock exhale fold pull the jaw in extended mountain pose inhale into chair pose on the exhale pull the jaw line straight back c breathe in forward fold breathe out tuck your chin towards your collarbone Flat back, breathe in, pull the jawline back. High to low plank, breathe out, pull the jawline straight back. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right foot forward, warrior one. Just for one breath, can you create the mudra that fast? Breathe in. High to low plank, breathe out. Pull the jawline straight back, even in the up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, warrior one. Self-study, breathe in without judgment. Breathe out, high to low plank. If you need to move faster or slower than I'm cueing, please do. Up dog, downward facing dog. One more time through, sun B. Self-study presence to what you see, how you feel physically, 
mentally and emotionally without judgment. Lift your heels, look forward. Exhale, travel. Flat back, breathe in, pull the jawline straight back. Forward fold, tuck your chin in. Chair pose for one breath in. Forward fold, breathe out. Flat back, breathe in, pull the jawline back. High to low plank, keep the jawline back. If you lost it, just put it back in without judgment. Up dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Right foot forward, warrior one. Option to add the hand mudra. Hide a little plank, breathe out. Inhale, pull the jawline back in the up dog. Exhale, down dog, left foot forward, warrior one. Use your ujjayi breath, option for the mudra. Hide a low plank, breathe out, out. Out. Upward dog with the ujjayi breath. Downward dog, exhale. Big inhale here. Open mouth, sigh it out. So the seed sound, the bija mantra for the throat chakra is hum. H-A-M, pronounced like H-A-H-M, hum. So take a deep breath in. Open mouth, you can say hum. And if you want to chant it, even more fun. Inhale. Hum. One more breath in. Hum. Right foot forward, crescent lunge with the back knee down. Bring your ujjayi breath back in. Option to create the mudra over your head or bring the mudra down in front of your chest. Check in with your neck, pull the jaw straight back. Lift the crown of the head up, take another breath in. Option to keep the back knee down or lift the back knee up. I'm present to how often I jump my chin forward in the asana practice, so this feels new and different in my body. If your hands are at your chest, extend them up on the inhale. And exhale, you can try the twist with the hands at the chest. In the mudra, mm -hmm. deep breath in. Option to bring the elbow to the knee with the mudra. And if that doesn't feel right in your body, please adapt. And check in with the throat lock. Look straight so that your head is straight side. Pull the jaw straight back. Then rotate the chin towards the right shoulder. Deep breath in. Pull belly button to spine, breathe out. One more breath in. Lunge deeper, twist further, breathe out. Back up to crescent lunge, inhale. Open to warrior two, exhale, open the palms. Everyone flip your palms up towards the ceiling. Pull the shoulders up towards the ears and then press the shoulder blades in towards the spine. Look straight side, look at the wall that's the, at the side of your mat. Pull the jaw straight back, breathe in. Then rotate your chin towards your right and flip the palms towards the floor. Lift and spread the toes, breathe in. Self-study, observation without judgment, lunge deeper into the front knee. Another breath in. See what you're looking at while you experience the breath. Reverse triangle, straighten the front leg, reach up and back. Flow through your vinyasa, high to low plank, up dog, down dog, or any variation thereof. Wherever you go, check in the, with the throat chakra, the throat loft. Breathe ujjayi breath. Take another inhale. Open mouth, exhale, option to say hum. Breathe in. Open mouth, hum. Left foot forward, crescent lunge. Ujjayi breath again, seal the lips. Option to bring the hands into the mudra. Shoot a mudra overhead or at the center of the chest. Inhale here. 
pull the jaw straight back, exhale. Option to stay or lift the back knee. Breathe in and twist to the left, breathe out. Either keep the hands at the chest or hook the elbow across the thigh. Look down to your chin's parallel or like neutral, then pull the jaw back, breathe in, then twist your neck so your left, your left chin, your chin comes towards your left shoulder. Take another breath in. Ujjayi breath out as you lunge deeper, twist further. Another inhale. See what you're looking at while you breathe your Ujjayi breath and experience without judgment. Warrior two. Up and open. Have your palms towards the ceiling to start. Look towards the side of the space. Lift and spread your toes. Pull the jaw straight back, breathe in. Then rotate, look. Chin towards left shoulder, palms towards the floor. Inhale here. Lunge deep, breathe out. See what you're looking at. Experience without judgment. Just notice. Another breath in. Deeper exhale. Reverse triangle, inhale. High to low plank, exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Focus your eyes to one spot. Shake the neck out, the head out. If you want some open mouth, exhales with hum. Could be a chanting or just a sigh. Hum. One more. Hum. Lift your heels, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the front of the mat. Flat back on the breath in. Hold, breathe out, tuck your chin towards your collarbone. Extended mountain pose, inhale. Eagle, right leg over. Option to do normal arm bind or create the Shuddha Mudra in front of the chest. Check in with the neck, pull the jaw straight back. Deep breath in. Sit low into the standing leg, breathe out. Ujjayi breath. Pull belly button towards spine, breathe out. Release, palms by the sides, inhale. Eagle, left leg over. Either arms, left arm under, or take the Vishuddha Mudra. Big breath. Check in with your throat lock. Do the opposite. Jut your chin forward, go to the extreme, then pull the jaw straight back. One more breath in. Ujjayi breath, sit lower. Extended mountain pose, breathe in. Right knee up, single leg mountain. Pull the jaw line straight back, inhale. And come into airplane pose. Exhale, you could take the Vishuddha Mudra in front of your chest. You could airplane your arms. Check in with your jaw. Look down towards the floor, pull the jaw straight back. Press the shoulder blades in towards the spine and pull the jaw back with the press in of the shoulder blades. Let's take another breath in. Ujjayi breath out. Open up to half moon. Bring your left hand down to a block. Open your hips to the side. Start with the chin. Um, if you can, look straight side. Pull the jawline straight back then either look down or up. Big breaths. Pull belly button to spine, spread your toes, especially on your lifted leg. One more inhale. Powerful exhale, lift your leg even higher. Forward fold. Let me shake it out. Shake your head out, let your neck and jaw soften. Um. One more. Um, roll up extended mountain pose. Standing single leg mountain, left knee up. Pull belly button into spine, check in with your head. 
Ooh, try this on. Bring your fingertips to the back of your head and press your head back into your hands. Yeah, that creates Jalandhara Mudra or Bandha. Option to keep your hands at the back of your head as you take airplane. Create the Jalandhara Mudra, Jalandhara Bandha, or clasp your hands in the Mudra. See what you're looking at, breathe on purpose. Check in again with the neck. Take another breath in. Half moon, open your hips. Look to the side, create neutral in the neck, pull the jaw back, and then turn your chin to one of your shoulders. Pull your toes towards your face, spread the toes. One more breath in. Lift your leg even higher. Release, forward fold. Shake it out. Need the open mouth hum. Let it go. Hum. Flat back on your next breath in. Pull the jaw back. Flow through high to low plank, up dog, down dog. Step out of default with the head and neck and your chaturanga and your up dog. And presence to the throat and jaw. Right foot triangle. Right foot forward triangle pose. However you choose to get there. Look straight side to start. Pull the jaw straight back. Press the shoulder blades in towards the spine. Then look down or up. Have your breath be powerful. One more. See what you're looking at. Come up for pyramid pose. Face the front of your mat. You might step your back foot in part way. You could create the Vishuddha Mudra in front of your chest or could you do it behind? Like if you're a reverse prayer person, could you do reverse um, that mudra, Vishuddha Mudra? Press into the back heel. So start with the knot, the jawline pulled straight back. Breathe in. And then when you get to the bottom, if you want to try on activating the throat chakra a little bit more, tuck your chin in towards your collarbone. Take another breath in. Hold a little deeper, breathe out. Twisting triangle, right hand high. Release the bind with the hands. Bring your head to neutral. Look straight in the same direction as your shoulders. Pull the jawline straight back, then turn your head. Experience your breath. Turn your chin even further. One more breath in. High plank on the breath out. Shift your weight forward, pull the jaw straight back. Inhale. Low plank on the exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, hum. Left foot forward, triangle pose. Back to the ujjayi breath. Set up the feet, lift and spread the toes. Pull the jawline back, then rotate the head. As you rotate the neck. Press the shoulder blades in towards the spine and then pull the jawline back again. One more breath in. Look further in the direction. Pyramid pose, breathe ujjayi breath, the whole transition. Face the front of the mat. The shoulders create the mudra if that feels empowering in your practice. Before you go down, pull the jaw back, breathe in. Exhale, fold forward, don't lead with the head. 
So you lift the chest and pull the jaw back until you get to the farthest place you can go. Breathe in. Then tuck your chin in towards the collarbone. Two more breaths here. Self-study, notice without judgment. Last breath out, full deepest. Twisting triangle, left hand high. Have your breath be a steady rhythm of ocean sounds. Having practiced this Jalandhara Bandha for the last 30-ish minutes, is it starting to feel new? Or are you starting to feel awareness in a new way? Notice without judgment. Notice if you hate it without judgment. Notice if you love it without judgment. Another breath. Look further to the left, breathe out. High to no plank, lay on your belly. Sphinx pose. Come onto the forearms. You can have your elbows a little wider than the shoulders. Lift the front of the pelvis. Look straight down at the mat to start. Pull the jaw towards the collarbone, then press the back of the head towards the back of your space. See about 18 inches in front of your mat. Re-engage the pit of the belly in and up. Press the shoulder blades in towards the spine. Press the back of the head towards the back of your space. One more breath in. Breathe out. Release your forehead down onto the back of your hands. Curl the toes under. Pull the pit of the belly in towards the spine and lift the thighs off the floor. Press the big toes down into the floor. Keep your hands on your forehead. Pull the jaw straight back to lift your chest and arms up off the floor. You want to bring your fingertips to the back of your head and press your head back even more. Notice if you jut the chin forward, can you pull the jaw back and down for five, four, breathe for three, two, release your forehead down to the mat. One more back bend here. You can do either of the previous poses or take floor bow to experience your throat lock. Start with the head straight down, face straight down, then pull the jaw back as you kick your feet back into your hands. Ujjayi breath. Deep inhale. Release. Option to windshield wiper your shin side to side. Take one camel pose and play with Jalandhara Bandha in camel pose. Up onto your knees. I like to put a block the narrow height between the inner thighs to correct the reminder to pull in. Lift the front of the pelvis up. Everyone shrug your shoulders towards your ears. Roll them back, bring your hands to your hips. Tuck your chin to your collarbone. Breathe in. Ujjayi breath, start to go back. Peel the chest back. Chin stays towards collarbone until the very last minute. Then you can let your head hang back. Option to take lion's breath, stick the tongue out, say ah. Two more times. One more. Slowly come on up. Come onto your back for bridge or wheel. You get five. Five ups and downs, or you can stay up the whole time. And do it from a place of curiosity of like, oh, what does my throat and jaw do in these back bends on the back? When you're ready, plant the feet, lift the hips up, and check in with the jaw. And press the jaw down towards the collarbone, then press the back of the head into the floor if you're in bridge pose. Bring your ujjayi breath back in. 
If you take a bind, you could try on the Vishuddha bind mudra behind your back. Hmm. How does this work? Can you self study, Svariyaya, without judgment? One more breath here. In and out, stay or come down. Four more back bends. We'll hold them for not as long. So if you want to take bridge, again, do that. If you want to take wheel, do that. Go up. What does the Chalandara Bandha feel like in wheel pose? You tuck the chin to the chest, then pull the jaw back to look back. Stay or come down. Breathe in. Breathe out and come back up, ridge or wheel. Whatever you do, choose to breathe ujjayi breath for the throat. Stay or come down. If you came down, come back up. If you're in bridge, press the back of the head into the mat. Create the Jalandara Bandha. Stay or come down. And come back up if you came down for the last one. If you're in wheel pose and you want to stick the tongue out and take lion's breath here, please do that. You can see how that's clearing for the throat chakra. And come down. Windshield wiper your shin side to side. Right, core work with an awareness of the throat chakra. So bring your fingertips to the back of your head and extend your legs up in the air. Option to keep your legs up, option to hover the right leg or set the right foot down. And pulse the shoulders up. Notice my chin wants to jut up towards the ceiling and I lose the bandha. So pull the jaw straight back and have the shoulders pulse up rather than the chin. Breathe and switch legs, other leg up, other leg down. Play with the Jalandara Bandha and the Ujjayi breath. Release, hug the knees into the chest. You can rock side to side if it would feel good. Tuck your chin into your chest, your forehead towards your knees. Yogi bicycle sit-ups. Bring opposite elbow to opposite knee and notice the throat lock. You explore, pull the jawline straight back as you twist from side to side. We'll take 20 more seconds here. Breathe powerfully. Press the back of the head into the fingertips. You get one more cycle right and left. Boat pose. Rock and roll front to back. Come up to boat. Last core pose. Pull the shoulders back so the chin also comes back. Shake the head if you need a moment. Lean back. Option to float the feet as you breathe your ujjayi breath. See what you're looking at. Notice without judgment. Be the fly on the wall witnessing what you're experiencing. One more breath in. Full belly button to spine. Breathe out. Downward facing dog. If you need some open mouth hums. Hum. That again, inhale. Hum. Runners lunge, right foot forward. Hug the knee in towards the shoulders. Before you lower down onto the elbows, notice the head and neck. And pull the jawline straight back. Then, if you go down, elbows onto a block or the floor. 
couple of options for this practice with the throat chakra is can you rest your you could create the Vishuddha Mudra and then rest your chin on your mudra. We have so many options. Get curious as you breathe on purpose here. One more breath. If it feels good to stay here, you could stay here or you could turn the toes out to galaxy pose. You could keep the mudra or come into a twist. Notice if you default, take your chin somewhere. Can you look neutral the neck, pull the jawline straight back, then rotate the head. options from here. You could take half pigeon right leg forward. You could take double pigeon right leg on top. You could take cow face pose right foot on top or right knee on top. If you do king pigeon or mermaid, check in with the neck. Pull the jawline straight back. Then take the arch in the upper back. If you lost it, come back to the Ujjayi breath. If you want to create the Vasudha Mudra wherever you are, you can do that too. I have 60 more seconds. We're going to relax the neck, be intentional. Let the head hang and pull the chin towards the collarbone. One more really slow breath cycle in and out. Sigh out a hum or chant a hum. Runner's lunge, left leg forward. Flip your left foot outside your left hand. In with the throat lock. Mudra for the throat lock, the Shuddha Mudra. Option to stay where you are or turn the front foot and knee out 45 degrees. Good twist. If you take the twist, pull the jaw back, then rotate the neck. Release into the last hip opener pose that your body is calling for. Pigeon, double pigeon. Face pose. Ujjayi breath the whole way through the transition. Option to explore the pose with the mudra. Hand 
intentional with either keeping the head in line with the spine as an extension or tuck your chin, let your head fall down, tuck your chin in towards your collarbone. Self study, study, yeah, yeah. Be the witness of your experience. Notice how you feel physically, mentally, emotionally without adding an extra story to it. Two more slow, super slow breaths. If you're in half pigeon, come to a seated forward fold. You could start with bent knees. Start with the spine straight up and down. Tuck your chin into your chest and then pull the jawline straight back. Breathe in. And exhale, hinge forward from the hips. Deepen the crease between the hip bones and the thighs. Stay with the Ujjayi breath. Two more breaths. If you want to open mouth, hum. Inhale. I love how the hum turns it back into Ujjayi breath. Take one more, inhale. Hum. Take supported fish. If you have a block, put it between your shoulder blades so we can open the throat chakra. If it's okay with your neck to let your head hang all the way back, please do as an opportunity to open the throat. If that does not work for your neck, you can put a block underneath your head. Let your throat chakra open. If you would like three more lines breaths, your tongue as far out as you can towards your chin and be loud and weird. Two more. stay here for as long as feels good otherwise it's time to take an inversion Maybe waterfall pose headstand handstand whatever pose you choose stay with the theme of the day the self-study observation while you put in awareness around the throat how does Jalandhara Bandha play into the pose you're making? How does Ujjayi breath play into the pose you're making? And if you want to create the Ashura Mudra, hmm. Observe without judgment. And take one more breath wherever you are. Really 
peace. However you need to wrap up your practice, if you need another spinal twist, you can bring one or both knees across if you want a happy baby or a supta baddha konasana. Final few moments of ujjayi breath. Taking the twist, move to the other side. else, final relaxation, Shavasana. Open mouth, empty. <sighs> Do that one more time, inhale. Open mouth, hum. Come back to your normal, natural breathing. The back of your head surrender into the floor. The back of your shoulders, the back of your hips, the back of your arms and legs and feet settle heavy into the floor. I'll bring this out in a couple of minutes. your intentional breathing in. As you breathe out, invite some movement to your fingers and toes. It would feel nice, rock your head from side to side. Roll over to either side into a fetal position. Notice how you're feeling physically in this moment without judgment is noticed. Notice mentally, emotionally what shows up without judgment. Come up to a seated position. And bring your hands to prayer on mudra, or if you want to shoot a mudra one more time. Your choice if you want to chant Om or Hum three times. Inhale. Mudra, bring your thumbs to the middle of your forehead, pull your jaw slightly back. May all beings everywhere be blessed with happiness and freedom. May the thoughts, words, and actions of our own lives contribute to that happiness and freedom for all. Shuck your chin down towards your collarbone. We bow in gratitude for this practice that came to us from India and brought us together today. Thank you. <laughs> 